taking early season stand counts is extremely important. Uh, going back out after you've planted your corn, getting in the field, walking rows, uh, walking off, measuring rows, and doing some plant stands gives you an idea of just how effective your planter was. It'll, it'll open the door and, and kind of shine some light on maybe some issues that you had that you didn't know about. Uh, maybe there were some skips or some, some issues with the planter that you didn't know until the corn came up. And it also kind of gives you an idea of, of just how well the hybrid's doing early on. Are the, are the plants growing at the same growth stage? Do you have some runts in the field? Uh, are there some low-lying levels and spots where where there could be some issues with water when the rain comes in uh, so it just gives you an all-around better understanding of of how your your corn is going to do moving forward and then also just a better understanding of how your field is year in and year out so usually the most ideal time to get out i like to get out and do plant stands when uh when seedlings are at about V2 stage. So once you have the two leaf collars, you can, uh, you can get out and start doing your plant stands. There's many different ways to do stand counts. Uh, you can either walk them off with a surveying wheel. Uh, some guys will, um, I've used a, a cut PVC pipe that's at 17 and a half feet, um, or you can just you know, step it off to, to your best knowledge and understanding of 17 and a half feet. Uh, and so by doing that, 17 and a half feet is one one thousandth of an acre. You take that 17 and a half feet and you would count each plant individually in that 17 and a half feet. You'd then multiply that by a thousand, giving you an understanding of plant population. So within that 17 and a half feet, if you had 32 plants, that would essentially be approximately 32,000 plants per acre. Now you'd want to do this in a representative sample among the field. You wouldn't want to just do it in one spot that looked really good and step it off and count and say that that was your population. You'd want to do it in different parts of your field, uh, maybe some low lying spots, maybe some spots where you're on a little bit higher ground that uh, you had a really good plant stand you want to get the best most representative sample you can possibly get um, by doing this you get a, an understanding of how well planting went Uh, maybe there was an issue where you had a couple of skips. Maybe there's a low-lying level in the field uh, where you want to think about possibly tiling or, or putting a, a side ditch where you can get some of that water off in the next year. But it just gives you a good understanding of how your, your fields lie um, and just how well planting went this year.